Hello. I pray that you're well today. Daily. Certain things are daily. Certain things are daily that we don't necessarily want to be daily, but they are. I, I want to read to you from Luke chapter 9. Verse 21, Jesus strictly warned them not to tell this to anyone. And he said, the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the teachers of the law, and he must be killed and on the third day be raised to life. Then he said to them all, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves, take up their cross daily, and follow me. If we want to be followers of Jesus Christ, we must take up our cross daily and follow him. Have you done that today? Have you willfully said, I take God whatever you are giving me? Not everything we have in our life is easy. And trying to do the right thing in the right way for the right reasons in order to honor God is hard at times. But God says to us, if we're going to follow him daily, we're going to take up our cross. What are the hardest things you have had to do in your life? And continue to have to do? What are the hardest responsibilities, the hardest relationships, the hardest challenges? And as we do them because we want to honor God, we are taking up our cross daily. The crosses I bear, my cross, is not the same as yours. My responsibilities are not the same as your responsibilities. I can't claim to know the cross you bear. We all have the same cross in Jesus, but we each have our own individual cross. The things we endure, the things we persevere, the things we suffer with. For it says this statement. He said to them all, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. Whoever wants to save their life will lose it. But whoever loses their life for me will save it. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit or lose their very self? Whoever is ashamed of me in my words, the Son of Man will be ashamed of them when he comes in glory, and the glory of the Father and the holy angels. What good will it be if we gain the whole world, if you had everything you wanted, if you had all the material possessions you could have, but if you lose yourself, if you lose your soul, today, today we take up again, we take up our, our difficulties, our sufferings. We take up our, our the weight and the pain and the responsibility we take up the easy relationships and the hard relationships. We say, God, this is what's happening in my life. Give me strength for this day to live as you want me to today. Take up your cross daily and say, I want to follow Jesus. It's powerful. It's mature that we would Count it all joy when we face trials of many kinds, it says in James 1. For we know the testing of our faith produces endurance, and let endurance have its full effect, that you may be mature and complete, not lacking in anything. Our first reaction often is not, oh great, we're having another problem. Oh great, there's some kind of difficulty. But in truth, when we say, God knew today, God knows our life, God knows my life, God knows your life, and today... You take up your cross again, willfully, patiently, with the strength that God provides. May God grant you strength in this day to take up your cross again. Only really he knows and you the things you endure. Only he really knows and you the level of pain. But God would say to you, we willfully and carefully, and in fact, even as James 1 says it, joyfully say, God, give me strength for this day. I joyfully will pick up my cross again today and follow you. I'm not trying to lessen any of the pain you've experienced in your life. 
I'm not trying to lessen the pain you're carrying right now. What I am saying is the very same thing the scripture says. Jesus said to them all, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves, take up their cross daily, and follow me. Please pray with me. Lord God, again today we take up our responsibilities. We take up our difficult relationships. We take up the challenges that are painful. We take up those things that we must obey in the midst of circumstances that are hard. Give us strength for this day as we take up our cross daily, today, and follow you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. God's strength to you today as you take up your cross. He knows exactly what it is, and he is with you. God bless you.